if I get to school. I walk to school because I just lived on Record Street. This is very handy. I used to go home for lunch too because it being so close to school. We always went home for lunch also. And the school started each morning at five to nine. The bell would go and then the, the, the teacher on duty would blow a whistle either once, you went to assembly, and if she blew it twice, she went to class. So we started at five to nine, so that by the time nine o'clock came, we were all settled. Then we had lunch from twelve o'clock to one, and then we finished at ten past three. Oh, I like my studies each day, and I like the sport as well. Now, there's no set uniform, but most girls wore what we called the, the navy tunic, which you had a blouse underneath and you had this tunic on top with a girdle. And most girls wore those, although you could wear anything. But boys wore shorts and jerseys and things. They did not wear longs. Girls did not wear longs. And boys had shoes. It was usually lace-up shoes. And the girls had shoes. You don't have the, didn't have the... Um, trainers and things that children wear today. Well, every morning, unless there's some reason why we shouldn't or couldn't. And we used to have the music. Then we had an amplifier that played the music out right over the school grounds and we used to march to, you didn't have to go to your class when the bell went, you marched to, marched to assembly with the music. Then we had assembly, we had the, the principal conducted the, the assembly, we sang songs. On Mondays we always sang the, um, God Save the Queen in those days, and then um, God Defend New Zealand, and then we had other songs that we'd sing at assembly, and that's when um, we had all the notices what's happening about the school and things like that. And we had a boy, George Sullivan, who was a very high educated fellow. He used to read Winnie the Pooh to us at an assembly. We had things like that at assembly. But we had a lot of singing and music in the school. Well, we had a very good caretaker. Mr. Sadler was the caretaker. And we had gardens all along the front of the school. You still got them, I think. And they were always flower gardens. They weren't shrubs and things. And then, you know where the reading centre is over, on, over there? Well, that used to be all gardens. It was all gardens through there. And that was divided into five sections. And the standard boys, on a Monday would do gardening. You had your your garden and you learnt how to garden and we had the tools and they had to learn to learn how to clean their tools and put them away and things like that. And then while they did the gardening on a Monday, the girls did sewing. And we learnt to tacking stitch and hemming stitch and buttonholes and all that sort of thing. Oh, the biggest school trip that I can remember was a school picnic at Stratford. And we went on the train, well, in those days it was a steam train. And we went to Stratford to our school picnic, and we had apples given to us on the way, and sweets, and we went to King Edward Park, and had races and ice creams and all that sort of thing, and, you know, all this fun that we had there, and then we trained back. And that was one of the big events of our school day. The playgrounds, well, they're still out here, aren't they? And then they're just a bit different because you see that infant block is gone and so all the children have got all that paddock to play on over there. And then here, well, we see you've still got the netball courts that are asphalt, but of course the infant department's gone where that was grass and we used to play on there. That's where we used to play around us. That was the girls' playgrounds. And we also had seesaws, monkey ladders.